Hey, baby. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shusli Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do it. In. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? Acid hot. Guys, you all know Onye, uh, sorry, I said Onye, Kachinwe's people has left. In fact, Chinwe literally do not have anyone in that house as her person now. Coming from Akoni of Lagos, I love her safe delivery. It is how they still use this baby thingy on Chinwe. Wahala be like bicycle. Now, um... People on the street are actually hyping Nelly. Nelly didn't stutter her for all those who said she couldn't face Chinwe. Come and see. This was the aftermath from what she said during the um, eviction show the other night. All right. She didn't stutter anything after. I don't care. All that I wanted was delivered. You know, there was this notion about, oh, Nelly cannot confront Chinwe. But look at how she had delivered during when Ibuka asked her. Nelly and Anita are dressed as if they are going home. People that are not even up. Show or fool. That is how it should be, actually. That is how it should be. They dress the right way. Whether going home or not, they should look good. And they did. Okay. Oyin Damola says, Omo, Nelly finished chin will not be small. Enough of that one. The evicted housemates, DJ Flo and Ruthie. 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 <laughs> One year and handy, eh? those girls will be goated for this season. Oh, like there's no how you forget them so easily when you hear about no lose guard season. I think they will be the point of contact when you mention, somebody mention no lose guard season. So um, uh, people have been missing. People are like feeling for DJ Flow. Comrades said DJ Flow is such a cool babe. Man, wish her all the very best. So people feel like oh no, if this is not a door season, you know DJ Flow should be in the house by now that she has a positive energy. I am sorry DJ Flow. Sorry no vex the world is your oyster for real i go hype you forever you know these are people who feel like their hands are tied and they need their routine to go because this last comment i just read was from a one year handy stan yes you know so they are like oh we would, we would have wanted Ruthie to stay but the game is a game and funny enough they didn't even know the housemates didn't even know that normally those are the bottom two you know so it played out well it played out well. The way the housemate went in to do their nomination of who they want to see go, it played out well according to how the viewers voted. And that is my happiness. Yes. I never wanted them to go, but immediately I saw that pool. I felt okay. Seeing that they were the, um, the streets were the lowest, followed by them, I felt okay. It was okay, right? Okay, talking about leaving, the radicals has always come close but they never go anywhere love them regardless congratulations radicals Femi deserve to stay so people were actually happy that they survived it again you know radical social game surviving bottom four in three weeks that's tricky t reincarnated who is tricky t tricky t was from the season of lockdown yes that was a season he was a housemate during lockdown season where um lecon image the winner you know and also um this thing about um what's the name the two guys radicals right after the eviction they were also having conversation that people have been telling them mickey was saying it they were sitting with chiwi and zion whilst they were eating and then mickey was like people will come to him and say i don't know why viewers are not seeing what we see in you guys like you guys are bubbly guys lovely guys how come you guys are appearing at the bottom we hope one day the viewers would see why you guys deserve to really be on this show you know and see i'm not gonna lie to you guys here when um the show started when i saw the radicals i already feel like they are the people that would actually go far in the game i don't know how i actually measure that but their vibes gave me the vibe of people that would go far you know on the game but the way things are going like this but i think they are going to have 
opportunity i think this new rules is going to help them it's it's going to be for their own good do you know how the housemate like them yes and the housemates already know that they appear bottom, bottom, bottom. What they would do now, they would barely nominate them for eviction because they know that, oh, this one is not really a competition to me because, you they've been standing up from the first week. They would have that look and they would not nominate them for a while. Yes. that So it would help them stay all through the weeks before whatever, whatever would happen that would make them go home. Those, these are the luck that they would have this season. They started having the luck from the first week, and I think it's going to help them go far on this game. What do you think about what I just said right now? Tell me. Know if you're disputing it, tell me in the comment section, okay? Let's have a constructive argument if you think you dispute what I said about the radicals because I feel like they would not want to nominate them. You know, we've noticed the love the housemates have for them. Saving them three consecutive times without feeling bad about it. It shows... Their social game with each of the housemates is cool. It's on a good level. Yeah. Okay, guys. On to the next one. Chineze says, TJ, you didn't say anything about Chizoba. Who is Chizoba? I beg shift. I don't have any sheep. And Biggie knows. Please shift. Where did this convo come from? From TJ, the better pair. Their diary session yesterday. You know, of course, nominated housemates were called in their numbers in the diary room. And the better pair, you know, when they were in the diary room... TJ was like, after they had conversation with Big Brother, and TJ was like, oh, um, Ben, you do not, you did not tell Biggie about your sheep. And then Ben was like, which sheep? I beg, I beg. Biggie also know that I don't have any sheep in this house. And then people were like, yo, she's all about this boy is literally playing you. You know, she's using you for this game. That is what he is doing. Now, in my mind, I'm like, okay, are these people even okay? Do they think the viewers do not watch... <laughs> Do they think that viewers do not watch the diary room? Because if you're playing Chizoba, even us, the viewers, should not know. Because the moment we, the viewers, know, we're going to work on our emotions and make sure you leave the house. You understand what I'm trying to say? So even the viewers, the moment you have decided to play a person, you should also play the viewers too. Play along the viewers, convince the viewers you want each other. That is how some of this house may do that they are in a ship, in a ship. When they go outside, the ship is not shipping anymore. Why? Because they have been playing games in the house. So for Ben to have been acting serious with Chizoba, you know, in the house now, comes into the diary room and said, oh, Biggie knows that I do not even have a ship. That shows that he does not even know the game he's playing. So because of that, people have really been coming for him. People have been saying, this guy, you see this. People have been talking about Chizoba. Chizoba, what you know how to do is actually to, um, what is it called, checkmate and give um, analysis about your sister um, relationship. You know, about Onyeka and Ozina. You know how to give statistics about your sister's relationship. Though, you know, the thing Onyeka had with um, Ozi. You know, that wanted to be a thing. You know, so um, there might still be a thing before the show ends. You know how these people do. Yeah. So people were like, you can dictate something about your sister, but you cannot dictate about yourself. See, this guy is busy playing you and it's obvious, but you cannot see it. So people are kind of perturbed about that. Just like I said, now that they should also play viewers, Beauty says, this housemate don't know how alliance work. How did they expect Chizoba fans to alliance with him outside the house if Chizoba is not up you know that's why i said you, the viewers already know the truth so they would not even dance to the tune of sheep anymore all right let's go to the next one comrade says the issue between the chatoria pair seems so deeper and very unresolved what we are just seeing is tolerance for the purpose of the game which is okay this was also coming after their diary session yesterday Yes, we had Sean had to say that um I was the one carrying this pair all this while. So she should, you know, carry the pair a bit because Big Brother said, Ask Victoria. I, I discussed the diary session and I hope you watched it. We have Biggie asked Victoria and say, Did you notice that Sean was withdrawn during last week? Yeah. So people were like, Oh more, there is something deep <laughs> from this Sean and Victoria thinking. But last last everybody go do alright, guys. Yeah. Okay. So, the next one is on the Wani and Handy pair. Um, netizens did not really like the acts that they displayed, you know, with the Ruthie and um, DJ Flo. That act right now left a beta test. Trust some Nigerians were supporting ill mannered, you know, so people were like, they think what they did was not really cool at all, that it was not giving. That was soon unnecessary from Wani and Handy pair. 
really low and i hope they lose fans by a lot they are really their fans are adding not reducing oh guys you know that's one thing with this thing fans fan thing is a lucky thing you know when you are liked you're liked and you know they have a likable character forget forget that they can be too much at times but they they, they are sweet to watch let's just say the truth they are so sweet to watch they are quite dramatic to watch and also sean sorry i said sean fraud you guys know fraud from the all-star season and also the pepper them season also reviewed on this one in handy thingy he posted and said nah no way no effing way it's not that deep and then people were reacting they are too as a beg it is when they were okay accusing them of okay i'm gonna skip all of that it was blue the belt we if we are being real it was below the belt i think it's below but the person used um blue so um so people were like there is nothing like that some people were defending them you know their fans now they would be like oh no when ruti was doing her own uncle what did you say me i already gave my own um, opinion about that i feel like that was just too much i feel like it was not cool also but that does not mean that i still do not love my babies because i love <laughs> i love how dramatic they can be like when i look at them do things i'll start laughing sometimes i say these girls oh, now they overdo you know jello finn said never seen people fight eviction sunday wow fina is better than this you know the funny thing is they started putting fina's name on this one people started even sharing posts they were like oh fina we owe you an apology fina we owe you an apology well why because you know they always call fina raz so they're like oh no we've seen someone who is more raz and whatnot oh we know fina an apology they started like yo i'm like now nah, wow you people should go and warm up and chop <laughs> you people should let finna breathe baby girl is busy with movies busy with one location and the other you guys should not even impute her at all because her own mouth no still good though okay coming from the cutest kimmy nobody okay should i start from them wani and handy is so classless another week for chiwe and nelly to give us drama <laughs> right we are looking forward to it because Nelly is already displaying with some um, Kesia and them. Um, what's the name? Victoria. Kesia and Victoria talking about those two. They are giving bestie, bestie. They are together. Yes, they are always together. So uh, would the, the, the thing is, I don't think Nelly and um, Chiwe would give us drama this week like that. So I feel like they would end up having conversation, you know, and make peace with it. Or maybe you never can tell them I still give us a drama. Nobody should call the twins we had. Ruti did her own yesterday. Wani and Handy have every right to react like that to beg. The game is the game. They had the last laugh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's leave it that way then. Right? <laughs> well, yo, guys, it wasn't funny. That's that yesterday. All right. Victor Mancha says, the only hope for this show, if not, we are doomed with boredom. So people feel like, yo... Why do people let people like that go? They are the people who bring drama to the show. So they are like, if Chin will go, it is a bye-bye to the season that is going to be boring. But there's something, that's one thing I used to think before. I think if you just remove people who are quite loud, who bring dra drama and whatnot, the show will not be interesting. Until my sister told me something. She said that when I was trying to say, oh, wow, why do these people go? She said, if these people go, another, dr another gist, another drama will start from the people in the house. You know, I'm like... Well, it depends. You know, it just depends. But I hope the season is going to end well. It's going to be an interesting one for us to just laugh, you know. The people that know how to drag will do their dragging. Everybody will do what move on as usual. Anyways, guys, me, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies. <laughs>